How do you inspire someone to care about nature? I believe that answering this question is essential to conservation. No matter how complex environmental problems may seem, nearly all of them are connected to an underlying theme, a lack of appreciation for nature. Without a doubt, the most effective time to change this is childhood. All my life I've loved nature, and as a photographer, I've attempted to share its beauty and value with others. Last summer, I wanted to see what impact I could make by sharing this passion in another way. Teaching. I wanted to give kids a chance to see nature on a deeper level, and I wanted to see for myself how nature could enrich their lives. Fortunately, I heard of a nonprofit in Yucatan, Mexico, called Niños y Crías, that was doing precisely this. Niños y Crías is an environmental organization working on many conservation issues in Yucatan, but what fascinated me most were their bird workshops for children. I think that education ambiental what they want to do is change habits and break barriers to motivate the action. And the education ambiental was one of the main motives of the work of Niños y Crías, because queríamos nosotros eh, influir para que los, los ciudadanos estuvieran motivados para actuar. Y bueno, y poco a poco es que empezamos a trabajar en lo que son los talleres de aves para niños. During these workshops, children get to observe and learn about birds for the first time. So I contacted Niños y Crías and made plans to spend the summer in Yucatán working with them. During this time, I noticed three stages that ultimately led to a passion for nature. Follow me as I describe the amazing cycle that inspires future generations of conservationists. The ripple effect of environmental education begins with an introduction to nature. Here, I'm in the coastal village of Las Coloradas, helping Niños y Crías give a children's birding workshop. Mi nombre es Wilma del Rosario, Solís Reyes. Y trabajo para Niños y Crías con un grupo de señoras observadoras de aves. A raíz de mi trabajo en Niños y Crías, nos fuimos interesando en la naturaleza. De ahí surgió la idea de formar un grupo para niños observadores de aves, ya que ellos son los que más se interesan y ya que aquí en las coloradas existen muchas aves que no conocemos. ¿De qué color son las aves? Muchos colores, ¿verdad? Y esos colores... Our workshop starts with basic classroom lessons. ¿Qué no es un ave? ¿Qué es la serpiente? La rana. ¿Sabe de qué es un ave? After this introduction, we teach the kids some basic aspects about bird life and follow this up with games. And crafts. And of course, we take the kids on outings to see birds in the wild. This is what I consider the most exhilarating and important part. It is where kids can be amazed by colors and behavior, thrilled by the search for a bird and connected for the first time to a completely new and beautiful world. <laughs> At the end of this workshop, 16 out of the 18 kids are interested in continuing birding, indicating a great success on our part. To continue this interest, I lead several more bird walks focusing on identification over the next four days. Our days start with a walk in the coastal scrub habitat right next to town. During these days, I'm also helping Wilma learn the birds so that she may lead the club after I leave. Here there is a great diversity of birds. 
y creo que es muy importante que los niños aprendan sobre ellas y sobre sus cuidados. Entonces yo creo que teniendo la conciencia y sobre todo la educación sobre el cuidado de las aves, eso va a influir mucho porque son los niños los que les enseñan a los papás a veces cosas que nunca antes nadie nos había dicho. Entonces de esa manera yo creo que ellos teniendo la educación y sabiendo sobre todo este, la importancia de las aves, ellos van a poder ayudar a sus papás o a sus vecinos o a toda la comunidad a dejar de cazarlas y mejor cuidarlas. Unfortunately, what Wilma and her group lack is equipment. El principal reto es conseguir el material que necesitamos para poder salir a observar y sobre todo el apoyo y el respaldo de alguien o de algunas personas para que el grupo pueda funcionar. Binoculars and field guides are extremely difficult to acquire in Mexico. I truly believe that if the tools were provided, Wilma and Niños y Crías would be able to guide the kids to a lifelong source of inspiration from birds and nature. It's fairly common for a bird club to start in a community after Niños y Crías has given a workshop there. This is the case for the coastal village of El Cuyo. Here, there is a group of young birders led by a man named Chucho. Me ha enseñado muchas cosas que yo no sabía y he tomado eh, el sentido del valor de qué es lo que es enseñar a los niños y la importancia de enseñar a los niños desde temprana edad acerca de la conservación. I am in El Cuyo to give a follow-up class to this club, and this time I have planned the activities. Fortunately, I had the help of Bird Sleuth, a fantastic bird education curriculum created by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. We translated Bird Sleuth into Spanish because we had a number of partners that were interested in using it, but one of the things that's really exciting to me is the number of people who we didn't originally know about who have shown a lot of interest in using Bird Sleuth to get their local children involved in environmental education and caring about the environment. During my class in El Cuyo, I use activities from Bird Sleuth to give these kids a little bit deeper look into bird life. Our classes start in the afternoon with a review of birds we had seen the day before. I then introduce the subject of the day, such as habitat, reproduction, or migration. Then, without too much chaos, I organize the kids into games and activities that help them understand these concepts. Our class then culminates with a much anticipated trip to go bird watching. Twice we explore the village and find coastal birds like Zenaida doves and sandwich terns. And twice Chucho treats us to a field trip outside of El Cuyo. <laughs> Porque si hacemos mucho ruido, se pueden ir y van a abandonar sus nidos. Y los van a comer. Exactamente. Entonces, vamos más para adelante. Vamos. Vemos un águila. Si se dan cuenta, allá vean. Ahorita con los binoculares lo, lo vamos a ver mejor, pero ahí. Ahí se ven. Allá hay un capullo. For three newcomers, this class was an exciting start to bird watching. The most rewarding parts for me were seeing these newcomers get excited about birds and remember what I had taught them. Después, ya están, ya son pareja los dos. Después, eh, nada, eh, ponen los huevos. Después, incuban los huevos. Y por último, nada, bueno, nacen los, las crías. Even our littlest student was excited about the woodpecker we had seen. ¿Cuándo fue la primera vez que saliste para observar aves? Ayer. ¿Cuál, cuál ave fue tu, fue, fue tu favorito? El pájaro carpintero frente dorado. Sí. ¿Y por qué te gustó? ¿Qué hizo? Porque estaba picando lo, el palo. ¿Por qué? Porque siempre le gusta hacer eso. Porque encuentra su comida también. 
For other kids, this was a chance for them to use their previous birding experience to help the younger kids. The club in El Cuyo represents what I consider the second stage of the ripple effect, budding interest. These kids have already been introduced to nature and are now beginning to form a connection to it. This connection has already started to influence their outlook and actions. It was encouraging to see the progress in El Cuyo, but I was blown away by what I saw in Ekbalam, a small indigenous Maya community in central Yucatan. Here, there's an extraordinary group of teenage boys that make up the Ekbalam Birding Club. In addition to their cultural rarity, the boys of Ekbalam are unique because their appreciation and concern for birds is quite rare in the area. Most boys in Ekbalam kill wild birds with slingshots, sometimes for food, but often for fun. In fact, many of the boys in the club used to kill birds themselves. But their lives changed forever when they attended a Niño Sicria birding workshop a few years ago. Con los talleres de niños y crías hace como cinco años, de ahí empezó nuestra conservación, nuestra conciencia. Not only have they learned to appreciate the lives of birds from starting to watch them, they've also developed a profound appreciation for all forms of nature. These young men have only attended a handful of birding workshops, and yet they speak messages of conservation reminiscent of Aldo Leopold. Importante, mentone, ya win ke kuta lukas, bukatu shente luyiko, bash, ya ek balam, bash yan waye, le meti ke kawete kanantik, mentone, pues ek futuro i. Y por eso hay una importancia de cuidarla, porque no es tanto para el bien del, del planeta, es tanto también para nuestro bien. These young men are an inspirational example of the pinnacle of the ripple effect, passion to inspire others. Having connected with nature through birds, these boys are now sharing this passion with children in their community. Pues yo pienso que la, la meta de, de nuestro grupo es concientizar a, este, a las demás personas a lo importante que es nuestra nuestra naturaleza. Y yo estoy dedicado ahora a la conservación del medio ambiente porque es algo muy importante por porque por ejemplo aquí donde vivo es un lugar donde hay mucha donde hay mucha devastación, donde hay mucha es en tumba de monte por a causa de la milpa. Entonces se ha estado acabando mucho con la naturaleza y nosotros los muchachos hemos tenido una conciencia ecológica de que eso no es bueno. Y nosotros estamos tratando de implementarlo ahorita en los niños para que ellos cuando crezcan, crezcan con la misma conciencia y no crezcan con la conciencia de destruir, sino con la conciencia de, de conservar. Para que de esa manera, pues, podamos evitar gran parte de este problema. With the help of niños y crías, Modesto began the birding club in Ekbalam a few years ago. There is no doubt his life has changed drastically as a result. He now has a mission, a position of leadership and a sense of purpose. Lo que yo haría es enseñar más a las personas, a los niños, a enseñarles lo que es 
lo que es importante, porque ellos no saben. Si no los enseñamos y no les decimos lo importante que es, ellos nunca lo van a saber. Es como nosotros. Antes yo no lo sabía, pero ahorita lo sé. Y por eso yo pienso que sería importante enseñarlos más y trabajar más duro para que más personas tengan la conciencia de conservación. Es lo que yo haría. But perhaps most importantly, it has also given him an alternative career path. He and some of the other boys are currently using their wages to attend classes to become certified nature guides. This type of initiative is rare in Akbalam and is a true testament to the change in Modesto's life as a result of birding. Of all my time in Mexico, this experience was the most inspirational. Here, I saw the true potential of environmental education. Can birds really inspire people to care about nature, even in communities where it's unusual and challenging? Clearly, the boys in Ekbalam have shown that they can. They've also shown that this process doesn't just benefit birds, it can also enrich the lives of people. However, achieving this on a larger scale will be quite a challenge. Financial, structural, and cultural factors often make it nearly impossible to break the norm. That is why it is important for outside groups like Niños y Crías to provide the materials, staff, and knowledge to do so. After blogging about my experiences in Yucatan, a man in Wisconsin donated nine field guides and three CDs to the clubs in Akbalam and Las Coloradas, while another man, along with the organization Optics for the Tropics, donated eight binoculars for the Las Coloradas Bird Club. Thanks to their generosity, these two clubs are now much better equipped to advance their bird watching skills. If you would like to make a real difference for people and nature, please consider making a donation to Optics for the Tropics or the American Birders Exchange. But the biggest truth I learned from this experience is that you don't need to donate money or travel to faraway places to make a huge difference for conservation. This ripple effect applies anywhere there are people in nature. If you're tired of watching humanity degrade nature, share your passion with others, anywhere. Start a bird club at your nearest nature center, or just take a friend on a hike. Show them what it is in nature that inspires you and maybe you'll make a ripple effect yourself.